What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with a special edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're going to be coming back to Love Bites. Yes, indeed. Love Bites fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all those clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor, okay? Before you do all those things, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Thomas Rowering, and I'm also doing this because I want to make sure that I fulfill my obligations to you. You guys stepped up big with that charity drive that we did for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. You guys did hit all the marks, so I'm going to fulfill my end of the bargain. And here is the second Love Bites reaction for, for this uh, charity drive. We're going to be doing Love Bites with a song called Spellbound. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Micah Doe Wolfpack Forever, okay? And the video has 452 views. Eh, it's not gonna get you there, sorry. Well, look, look, I'm, I'm sure the song is fine. I'm sure the video is fine. I'm just saying 452 views, eh, it's not gonna get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Love Bites, Spellbound, Heavy Metal Never Dies, live in Tokyo 2021. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. The energy is good. The drive is good. The feel is good. Um, that keyboard is way up in the mix. Holy smokes. Uh, don't get me wrong. It, it, it's, 
it's great to see Miyako playing the keyboard, okay? I, I, I can absolutely appreciate that, and I definitely appreciate the voicing that it's adding to the song, but the mix, it is very dominant. Uh, might want to think about turning her down a little bit, if I'm being honest. It's, it's glaringly above everybody else. Um, but so far, everything else feels good. Everything else sounds good. I'm digging it. Let's, let's keep going. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, so Miyako's going to step away from her keyboard and do some crowd interaction. Good on her. Love seeing that. That's awesome. Um, I'd be lying if I was going to sit here and say that this is like the most amazing song I've ever heard from, from Love Bites. I, I'd be lying. You know, it, that, that's not what I'm going to do. I will say... It's up there. I will definitely say it's up there for the from a feel standpoint, from an energy standpoint, it's definitely up there. Is it an impressively written song? Ah, uh, not really. I mean, I like the I like in the chorus how they're resolving the phrase on the two. That's on on the on the two chord, not 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 on the downbeat of two, but on the on the two chord. Um. That's interesting. I, I, I found that interesting. It definitely caught my ear. But the rest of the song, it, it's pretty straight ahead. I mean, there isn't a whole lot of frill or there isn't a whole lot of impressiveness to it, but that's okay. You know, it, it not listen, not every song is supposed to be impressive. Sometimes songs are just supposed to be straight ahead rockers. And that's what this song kind of feels like. Is it pretty much a straight ahead rocker? Um, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> Touching that. I'm not touching that guitar. Don't you get that away from me. <laughs> I love what they did there. You know, trying to bring out that guitar and hand it to her, and she's like, I'm not touching that. Get that away from me. <laughs> that was great. I loved it. it I think it would be a fun if the guy just like walked away, started to walk away, and then she walked over to him and grabbed it out of his hand and put it on herself. I think that would have been even funnier. But uh, no, what they did there, that was entertaining. That was definitely entertaining. See, that's showmanship. That's showmanship right there. I love it. I love seeing it. And more importantly, I love seeing it from her. I love seeing it from Miyako because in the past, I have been critical of her not interacting with the crowd, not having a lot of showmanship. Well, guess what? There it is. She is very capable and I'm glad to see it. I would love to see more of that from her. That was fun. That was a fun moment. So good on, good on her. Good on her for allowing herself to do that. That was awesome.
Nice. I already know exactly where I'm going to go with this. I, I don't even need to think. Um, let me shut everything down. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Love Bites with Spellbound. This was a request from Thomas Roaring. And it's also one of the songs that I picked to fulfill my promise to all of you uh, for contributing and participating in the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital uh, drive that we did, the charity drive that we did for them. Um, you guys all stepped up big, and I have some reactions to film. So, yeah, uh, this was one of them. Um, I didn't, I'll be honest with you folks, I didn't even have to think about this. This score immediately popped in my head, and I'm not even going to argue it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.6. Yep, 8.6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, not every song is gonna be a masterpiece, okay? Look, I, I don't care, I don't care who you are, I don't care how devout of a fan you are, there is no way that anybody with a straight face and being 100% honest can possibly say that every single song that any band, doesn't matter what the band is, that every single song is a masterpiece. No, no, I'm sorry, no you can't. You, you just cannot honestly say that. I would never sit here and try to trick you guys and lie to you and say that I thought this song was impressive. I would never try to lie to you guys and try to fool you and lie to you and say that this song was amazing, okay? Because it really wasn't. There was really nothing all that impressive about the song. But the song was fun. This was a fun tune. It required absolutely no brain work, really. It was a straight ahead rock tune easy to follow, easy to groove to, had a great amount of energy, great amount of drive. Um, everything about the song was was great, and a lot of the reasons it was great was its simplicity. I mean, let's be honest here. The chordal structure on the song, not hard to follow. The chordal flow, easy to go along with. Just flowed like a river. Uh, there was nothing that happened within the songwriting that screams this was impressive. It wasn't. It was a fun, easy tune to follow along with and rock out to. The soloing was impressive, I will absolutely say that. Uh, Midori once again shredding on the guitar. Um, and it was fun to see Miyako on the keyboard. It was even more fun to see her 
on the Kitar. Now, here's the thing. I have been very critical of her in the past about not having any showmanship and not really knowing how to connect with the crowd. And I, I've, I've been very critical of her in the past on that. Seeing her do this more than made up for all of it. And as a matter of fact, I, I'll even take it a step further. And I'll, I will go as far as to apologize to her and to everyone else for making those comments. Granted, I was making those comments based on what I saw at the time. But now seeing this, I know now, I absolutely without a shadow of a doubt know that she is fully capable of having some great showmanship. Not, not just good. That was great. When the guy came out with the guitar and tried to hand her and she just waved it off like, I'm not touching that. He tried again and she put up the X line like, get that out of here. I'm not touching that. I think it would have been even funnier. And I think it would have been even more effective if the guy had like, okay and he starts to walk away and then she reaches over and grabs it and pulls it out of his hand and puts it on and starts playing i think that would have been even funnier but what they did was fantastic i loved it i loved seeing that side of her i hope we get to see more of that from her in the future because that was fantastic that was a hoot that was a that was a honestly that was one of the high points of the song for me was seeing her do that and not only that, but when she just stepped away from the keyboard, before the keytar even came out, when she stepped away from the keyboard and she was clapping and getting the crowd, she was engaging the crowd. Crowd interaction. There it is. There it is. So it was fun to see that. It was fun to see Miyako and Midori come together with, you know, Miyako on the keytar and Midori on her guitar and watching them play together, watching them solo together. And it was even more fun looking over and seeing Asami and Miho over there on stage right, just hanging out together like, let them have the spotlight. We're gonna rock out together and let, let, let's let them have their moment in the sun. You know what I mean? That was fun to see too. Um, no, this was a great song, man. It's a great song for all the simple reasons and all the simple things that they did. Straight ahead, no frills, nothing crazy, nothing that you need a scientific calculator for. It was just a straight ahead fun rock and tune and I absolutely loved it. So yeah, 8.6, I feel good with that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So 8.6, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make a difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.